In this video we're going to look at how to use your Casio GDC to get the results of a function, the uh, outputs, the Y values or the range of a function uh, for a particular set of inputs. So from your menu screen we're going to go to table menu which is number 7. So you can either just press the 7 or you can scroll around to the menu pad but we'll just press the number 7 there. And this takes us to a screen that looks a little bit like our graphing screen where we can enter functions. So we're going to enter our function here as y1 and we're going to use the x theta t button for the variable so it'll give us an x. Uh, our function we're going to look at is x squared minus 3x plus 1. And we're going to look at that function so we'll press exe to enter it and there's our function. And then this option here, table f6, will give us our output results and it's as quick and simple as that. So the first column is our x values and the second column is our y values and we can scroll down using the cursor pad to get the values that we need. Okay now we're displaying the results from negative 3, x equals negative 3 down to x equals 3 uh, and we're, gonna dis we're just displaying the integer values of x within that uh, domain. Um, if you want to change that, if we just go back we'll uh, exit back out of that um, and we'll go and set our table up here. F5 allows us to set the table up. So if we press on F5, uh, we've set our starting point as negative 3 and our ending point as 3. Um, if we wanted to, we could change that. We can change our start and end. So we could, if we wanted to, go from 0 to 5. And instead of going up by 1 at a time, we could go up by 0 0.5 in our steps. Um, press the XE to save that. Um, and then again, go to F6 table. And there are our results from 0 in steps of 0 0.5 or a half up to 5.